Hello everyone, welcome to the future aircraft engineers. So we are going to discuss about the RBSM today. Let's start. Disclaimer, this video is for solely for flying purpose only. Okay, what is RBSM? RBSM is a reduced vertical separation minima. Okay, so let's see the definition of the RBSM. Actually, basically it is a reduction in vertical space from 2000 feet to 1000 feet of the standard vertical separation required between the aircrafts flying in a fixed zones that is flight level 290 and between 410 that means the flight level 29,000 feet and 41,000 feet so RVSM is applied between this region so now the reason for reduction why we require the RVSM basically to accommodate more aircrafts that can fly in a particular volume of controlled airspace means we are accommodating more aircrafts in a specified uh, region because as we know the earth had an atmospheric layer called the troposphere uh, and uh, stratosphere mesosphere ionosphere and exosphere etc so we particularly talk about the uh, troposphere because the troposphere that starts from the earth's surface and ranges to from 8000 meter to 14500 meters or you can say the 8 8 kilometers to 14.5 uh, kilometers so we'll uh, see the next slide and your doubt will be clear okay this is your figure and you can see this is our troposphere and this is your stratosphere so we are flying in a zone of here means we are flying at the above top level of the troposphere and bottom level of stratosphere why we are flying here because this is our atmosphere and we have a lot of turbulence here to avoid turbulence we are flying in a this zone in this zone this is the reason why we are flying here okay let's move ahead okay in this figure your doubts will be clear okay let me explain because suppose this is the non-RVSM region when we don't have enough efficient ultimators okay we don't have a lot of transponders we don't have a, that much of technologies so at that time what we have to do is we have to maintain at least 2000 feet of distance between the opposite heading aircrafts and 4000 feet of distance vertical distance between the same heading aircrafts so this was the scenario when we don't have an rvsm but now we have a rvsm we have a, right now a piton static concept we have efficient altimeters we have autopilots etc so uh, in this case when we have a rvsm the space is remain same flight level 290 to 410 here also from flight level 290 to 410 so what is the difference now we are accommodating more aircrafts in the particular region so right now how much the distance is in opposite direction heading is thousand feet and the same adding aircrafts there is a 2000 feet so this is the reason or benefits or you can see the benefit of the rpsm so the requirement of the rpsm is only because only aircraft with specially certified altimeters autopilots may fly in the rpsm airspace otherwise the aircraft must fly at the lower or higher than the airspace and one more thing important here that Equipment requirements. What are the equipment required to be in, fly in an RBSM zone? The aircraft must have independent altitude measuring systems, SSR, secondary surveillance radar, altitude reporting uh, transponders, altitude alert system, autopilots, flight crew approved training program, etc. That means the flight crew must be RBSM type ready. So I think this is the short uh, video on the RBSM. Thanks for watching this. 
and if you like the content oh please do subscribe and hit the like button thank you very much for watching cheers